Chime PPP loans, applications, we got deposits. I got everything you guys need to know. But first, before I get into this, I will let you guys know I am still doing the giveaway. You guys got actually one more day if you guys want to be entered. I will be doing the giveaway tomorrow. Yeah, so tomorrow is the giveaway. If you guys want to be entered, feel free to like and subscribe. And don't forget to go to my channel. You'll see a playlist that says giveaway. Very, very simple. Very, very easy. Now, when it comes to Chime, I'm also going to let you guys know before we get to talk about Chime. If you guys want to download Chime and also receive $75 just for downloading the application, all you guys got to do is use the link in my description or I will actually pin that link. So I will pin the link there. If you guys want to sign up, feel free to sign up. You'll receive a checking, savings, and a spending account. With that um, credit bidder account as well, you'll actually be able to save money and you'll also be able to build your credit at the same time. Very, very simple, but that's besides the point. Let's get into this because there's been a lot of questions regarding Chime PPP loans. Um, are they accepting them? You know, my address is different. What can I change? How can I receive it? I've been rejected. I've been approved. So many questions, right? So let's get right into this. I want to first let you guys know that Chime, according to Chime, they are accepting these loans, right? Now, they came out on a record and said, first, they wasn't accepting the loans. Backstory behind Chime. Last year, Chime was actually behind a lot of scammers and frauds regarding this type of loan. So what they basically wanted to do was make sure, and that's why I kind of was trying to tell you guys, make sure your address matches your address on your business, on your Chime account. Make sure your zip code is the same. Make sure your states, your city, your phone number. Try to make everything the same. Trust me, because Chime was um, a part of some scams. You know, just like any other bank, you know, part of scams, loan frauds, stuff like that to the point where things wasn't matching up and Chime basically said, you know what, we're still going to give you this loan even though things don't match up and it came out to be a fake account, fake loan. Um, it comes a whole investigation. So that's why I was trying to preach to you guys, make sure your address is the same, everything matches up because that is going to be an automatic trigger. If if there's something wrong, let's say if there's something wrong, like it, you, let's say your address is five, six, seven, Cadillac Drive, right? If you're and if you put six seven eight Cadillac Drive Avenue and it's supposed to be Boulevard or even Northwest, North South, whatever the case may be, it's going to trigger the system. You guys got to understand, Chime and these banks and these loans. There's hundreds and hundreds and thousands and thousands of loans being processed each and every day, and it's going through an automated service. So what that automated service is actually doing is making sure things link up. So it's really not Chime's fault, but in the same sense, it is Chime's fault because it's dealing with Chime. Now, if you guys made it to, you know, there's certain phases, if you guys made it to these steps and phases, and then you have been denied, there should they should email you and let you guys know exactly what happened. You know, drop the comments below. Let me know exactly where you're at and where you're staying. If there's an update, I'm gonna actually see if I can help you guys. Also, you know, as I talked about before, Chime actually watched my videos and they will actually be interacting with you guys as well. If you guys need help, I would suggest if you guys are stuck or got a question, feel free to drop it below at any time. You know, that's just the best way to fully get this knowledge and get this, um, all this information that's needed. I'm going to provide some screenshots of some comments that I actually received and also some answers as well that could possibly help you guys in this process because a lot of people have been rejected also a lot of people have been seeing deposits so it's like a 50 50 straw you know um, based on what I've been receiving you know a lot of people have received them a lot of people haven't so I can't I can't fully X out chime and say okay they don't accept these loans because I'm having a lot of people comment and tell me they've been receiving these loans. So that's why that's why it's like mixed in the air, you know. But everybody is different as well, you know. Cause your your bank and your um not your bank, but your business is different from the next person's business. So you gotta understand what they go off of, the certain amounts you made. So you know what I mean? It's a lot to play with. It's a lot to actually take in, take in consideration as far as 
the information that needs to be verified and also that makes it different for you and me, you know, because everybody's different or the next person, you know, but we're going to talk about that. Also, we're going to be talking about these screenshots as well. So let me get right into this. First, if you guys have not, make sure you like and subscribe. If you guys got questions, as I mentioned, feel free to drop them below. I'd rather you guys ask these questions now than wait too long or wait and get rejected and not do nothing about it. Now, as far as your steps, as I said, everybody's different. So I can only help you and assist you the best way that I can based off that information. But yeah, let's, let's go into one of the comments I want to um, talk about. Um, Johnny Knight TV. He said, I got rejected because Chime Bank name was wrong. Make sure you stride bank, not chime banking. If you use Rompley, best luck, everyone. So this is strictly from him. And this is something I was trying to preach to you guys as well. Make sure things add up because you don't want to wait 10 days, 15 days, 20 days just to hear back and say the address was different on your bank account than it was let's say as far as your id or as far as where it needs to be so that's why i try to tell you guys make sure it's correct and i totally understand sometimes when you're filling out these loans you're doing these things you're just going away right you're not even fully thinking you're going with this address you're going with that but make sure it's all linked up because you don't want to waste not only your time but everybody else's time because then you got to do it over or whatever you know but you just want to make sure everything is accurate and this is coming from Johnny Knight TV he's saying best luck to everybody but make sure you use stride bank and not chime banking so that there is a difference stride bank not chime banking but you guys have to put that on there you know so that's going to be one of the main key factors as well a lot of people were just putting chime you know a lot of people was just leaving the address blank thinking it doesn't matter you know that address matters when they ask for the address because you guys gotta understand just take it take it like this if it's going through a system right it's just verifying things it's gonna go through a system on a computer very very smart computer it's just verified things right so at the end of the day it doesn't know fully who you are or linking up old information it's just going off based of what you actually put on there. I'm going to read this and add a little words to it because if you guys can see, it's missing a few words. But if I applied with Blue Acorn, SBA approved it. I'm pretty sure he meant to say Blue Acorn. So that's why I said Blue Acorn. If it's Blue Apron, I apologize. Does that mean I'll get my loan? Email states they're sending over DocuSign documents. Haven't got them yet. So it looks like he just got approved. And as I mentioned, people are getting approved. Also, people are getting rejected. So it's a handful of people that's getting rejected. There's a handful of people getting approved. That doesn't that doesn't mean they're not going to approve you or, or have it came to you yet. That just states if you've been rejected, make sure everything matches up. I say it once again, make sure everything matches up, you know, because you don't want to wait two, three weeks for that. But you should be waiting on those docu, um, those documents as well. You know, you got to sign some documents. So with that being said, and when you sign those documents, make sure everything is correct on there, too. They're going to send you over some documents. Anything you sign, make sure it's correct. Make sure things are linked up. I know people want to go real fast and disregard this information, disregard that information. Read what you have to read. Make sure it's all accurate. Make sure your name is spelled right. Make sure your first name, last name spelled right. The address spelled right. All that good stuff, right? right? Guys, so drop the comments below. Let me know fully how you guys feel about this. Are you still waiting on your loan? Is it going to get approved, denied? Let me know how you guys feel. I will try my best to actually comment and, and interact with you guys, getting a full response. I know things are tough right now. We're going to be doing a stimulus check here shortly, so I will keep you guys updated with the stimulus checks and also the giveaway tomorrow. So we have a lot in store for this week. Hope you guys enjoy your day, enjoy your night, your morning, whenever you're reading this, hearing this, seeing this. Stay loyal, stay blessed, stay true, stay